Welcome back, everyone. Well, the holidays, of course, can be an overwhelming time uh, for us, but not just for us, for our pets as well. It can be very stressful on our animals. We have Nina Wagner joining us this morning from Camp Pow Wow with a special guest. Who do we have? This is Luna. This Luna. is my, my little baby girl, Luna. Hi, sweet girl. She is just adorable. But uh, Nina is here to tell us a little bit about some things that you need to keep in mind during the holidays when you're with your pets. So first off, Let's start with travel. A lot of people mm -hmm. are traveling during the holidays, some bringing their pets with them. What do they need to keep in mind safety-wise? Well, you know, there's different harnesses that you can buy uh, for your pets at PetSmart, Amazon, um, that would keep them safe. So if you are in an accident, they won't fly through the windshield oh, and have an traction. accident or have, you know, little incidences like that. One thing to keep in mind, I have this problem with my baby, is um, mm -hmm. dogs, many of them get car sick. And oh, you wouldn't think no. that. Um, I've had little episodes with her. So I do, you know, try to avoid uh, <laughs> feeding them before you're getting uh, you know, in the car to travel a long distance. Mm -hmm. I'm fine uh, going, you know, straight is fine. But if you're going in and out, weaving through neighborhoods to visit family, that could be a trigger. Also, if you're flying with your pet, oh. try to avoid feeding them four to six hours before flying because the last thing you want is to get on a plane uh, if your dog's on carrier or if they're crated underneath the plane for them to vomit and throw up and then they're just a mess. Say so no one wants that, huh? Lots of good that, tips there. What about when it comes to decorations? <laughs> decorations are out. I know some pets are curious. They want to sniff and maybe taste and bite. So what do you need to do to like to houseproof your house for well, pets? Well, you know, pets, especially puppies, are just like babies and toddlers. You know, you see a lot of people with young children. They decorate about three feet and up. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, for some dogs, you have to do the same thing. Um, just you know, obviously be careful of uh, glass ornaments, porcelain ornaments, things that are special to you. Uh, you know, like luckily, Luna here is great with ornaments. She's not really interested in them, but we've been doing training with uh, you know our trainer since mm -hmm. eight weeks, and so she knows leave it, and she's got that down. Awesome. Um, so I encourage you to do that. Uh, she, you know, just the obvious things, light bulbs um, that can cause if they if you do see that they have an interest in that, maybe just adjust your your decorations um, until they get a little bit older. All right, these are all great tips. Real quick before we head to break. People might be needing boarding or maybe some training this time of year. Do you all have a website there at Camp Bow Wow? People can learn some more about what you guys have to offer. Yes, we have two locations. Uh, the Baton Rouge location by Women's Hospital on Airline and also Prairieville, Louisiana on Old Jefferson. So uh, we have two different websites. We have two trainers, one at each site. And uh, there's definitely lots of options out there. Awesome. Just search for CampBowWow.com. We've got it listed there at the bottom of your screen. We're also going to have these tips and that website link for you on our website, BeOurProud.com. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for having you us. You were awesome, Luna. We're going to take oh. a quick break. We have much more Local 33 news today coming up.